All the privileges, the benefits and advantages of the ironical priesthood and sacrifices do all belong unto the covenant whereunto they were annexed, a chief part of whose outward administrations consisted in them. This the Hebrews neither could nor did question. The whole of what they pleaded for, the only charter and tenure of all their privileges, was the covenant that God made with their fathers at Sinai. Wherefore, that priesthood, those sacrifices, with all the worship belonging unto the tabernacle or temple, were necessarily commensurate unto that covenant, whilst that covenant continued, they were to continue, and if that covenant ceased, they were to cease also. These things were agreed between the apostle and them. Hereon he subsumes, but there is mention of another covenant to be made with the whole church, and to be introduced long after the making of that at Sinai. Neither could this be denied by them. However, to put it out of controversy, the apostle proves it by an express testimony of the prophet Jeremiah. In that testimony it is peculiarly declared that this new covenant, which was promised to be introduced in the latter days, should be better and more excellent than the former.